Okay, we have macular degeneration. So the macula or the fovea is the center of the eye with the highest concentration of photoreceptors and no blood vessels. So this is where light focuses and this is where we see the most detail. This is actually what's responsible for our detailed central vision. In dry macular degeneration, the cells can get damaged and they start to leak drusen, which are lipids. And this destroys the architecture of the cells that we need to see right in the center of our eyes. Now, if too much of that drusen leaks out of our cells, the retinal pigment epithelial cells, they can crack. And then fluid or blood can actually get trapped in the center of the eye. And this really disrupts vision. And this is called wet macular degeneration. And this is where people lose central vision. Um, they can no longer read clearly. They can't drive. They can't see people's faces. Um, glasses don't help. I mean, this can be really devastating. And once those cells are scarred, they typically don't get better. Now you can see on the bottom left what this looks like on an OCT image, which is this cross section of the macula. So here in this top image, this shows a normal macula, which is, and you see this smooth dip, and that's the fovea. And you can see how tightly those cells are lined up in these beautiful layers. Now, the middle image shows a disruption of the architecture, and you see these bumps um, underneath, and these are drusen. And you can see it's starting to disrupt the cells in the macula. Now, in the bottom image, um, you can see that fluid here has gotten trapped. And this is what causes more damage to the architecture of those cells. And this will eventually lead to scar tissue as it gets worse. Now, what are the quantum causes? Now, once again, circadian disruption will lead to mitochondrial dysfunction. And I want you to know that those retinal cells are packed with mitochondria. So anything that will disrupt mitochondria will damage and disrupt the macula, which contributes to vision loss. So mitochondrial dysfunction will cause a lot of this oxidative stress. And this is what damages the cells in an area that requires a lot of this blood flow and oxygen. Now, I said that the macula doesn't have any blood vessels, so the macula will get its blood supply from the choroid. Now, the choroid is this really dense vascular layer, and it's underneath the retina. It's right here, and you can see it in the OCT. Now, mitochondrial dysfunction will also contribute to health issues that affect cardiovascular function and oxygen flow. So macular degeneration tends to be worse in people with these inflammatory conditions and cardiovascular disease. Now, blue light toxicity is perhaps one of the biggest contributing factors to macular degeneration. So when blue light actually hits a photoreceptor, it separates vitamin A. Now this free form of vitamin A is actually super toxic to our cells and it causes significant damage. And DHA, which are our healthy fat cells, DHA is also damaged by blue light. So the cells end up getting leaky and this causes those lipid deposits to clog up the cells and cause central vision loss. Now when blue light is balanced by red light and the natural sunlight, this damage is protected because remember red light is the antidote to blue light inflammation, but artificial blue light is what causes damage. Now blue light will also contribute to this low oxygen status in the mitochondria. Now this disrupts the energy flow in the mitochondria and that also leads to damage. Now a lack of UVA light will cause a decrease in nitric oxide. And remember that nitric oxide dilates blood vessels and it improves blood flow and nutrient flow and oxygen flow. So when UV light is lacking, this doesn't happen. So then there's this poor blood flow and a lack of nutrients. And then the choroid is not able to deliver the proper nutrients and the proper oxygen to the macula when those nitric oxide levels are low. Now, also remember that the eye is that hormone making organ and UV light is how melanin or pigmentation starts getting made. So a lack of UV light will lower melanin production. Now the eye requires a ton of melanin in the retinal pigments epithelial layer. This is a really important layer of the retina. The retinal pigment epithelial layer is what gives the macular cells its nutrients and it also helps to regenerate or clean up those waste products like drusen from the photoreceptors. And melanin is also, it also absorbs excess heat and energy from the light that's being transmitted through the retina. This is all accomplished by melanin. So when melanin is decreased, the macular cells get damaged because those byproducts, that drusen will start to build up. And a lack of red light will also contribute to poor mitochondrial function and, and less of that exclusion zone water. 
Now, cellular dehydration is a lack of electrical current or voltage. And remember, we need a really high voltage that's needed in the retina because we need this uh, exclusion zone water. We need a ton of exclusion zone water where we need this high energy or voltage because there is an intense amount of energy that we need to absorb and process light all day long. Now, blue light will also contribute to cellul cellular dehydration, as does Wi-Fi and a lack of infrared light also contributes to dehydration. Now, finally, low vitamin D will contribute to diseases that can make macular degeneration worse. And there are vitamin D receptors in the retina. Now, a lack of sleep is also implicated in overall health. But most importantly, melatonin is needed to regenerate our retinal cells. It regenerates our cones overnight. So we really need good sleep and adequate melatonin to perform all of these functions.